Hey you guys, today I'm going to talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 9 Episode 1. I know I'm late, but I've been dealing with a migraine, like non-stop migraine. So y'all have to excuse me with these videos. I'm getting them as I can get them out. Um, I'm not going step by step on this first episode. Um, let me give a disclaimer for my new people that watches me when it comes to Real Housewives of Atlanta. When it comes to any reality TV show that I review... I'm very unbiased. I watch the episodes as I see them. I don't I don't follow none of these women. Well, I follow Kenya, but it's for no whole different reason than reality TV. Um, but I don't really I follow Candy too. But I don't follow these women like that. Um, I don't stop their life. I don't invest my time in none of these women. I just watch it as I see it. Um, some of them I still kind of have ill willings for since they've probably been on the show. But, um, I'm, it's a new slate. I give everybody a fair chance. Some people to me, well, most of them, are still acting the same way that they always acted. So I don't really have to change my views on none of these women. Um, let's go with Candy because she really wasn't a lot on her. Well, it really wasn't a lot on none of these bitches. It was a gang of shake fest. It reminded me why I don't hang with girls. It reminded me why, like, yeah, I just don't hang with girls. Or And my best friends mostly are guys because I don't like mess. I don't like just stupid ass shake for no fucking reason. And you think we still supposed to be cooler friends. No. But it start with Candy and Todd and little baby Ace. I think that's his name. Um, she finally got her ace. They all got like these new intros. That was kind of cool. Um, but they got a five month old baby. Only thing I just tripped off that with the whole five month old baby. Okay, Todd, you know, is 70 30. That's any relationship. Sorry, Candy. Sorry to tell you that. But that's probably any relationship. I don't give a damn if he wanted to be a daddy, couldn't wait on a baby. They all say that till the time comes and you have to get up at 3, 4 in the morning, change diapers, feed the baby, get the baby dressed, all that, take the baby doctor's appointments, all that. Girl, it's always going to fall on you. So if you can't deal with that, that's on you. Um, but them trying to potty train the baby kind of, I was questioned by that. I'm like, didn't they say this baby five months old? Like, it's not the time to potty train him. I don't. That's some weird shit. Maybe y'all do it down south. I don't know. But to potty train your baby, his, like, he can't even control himself at that time. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that was stupid. I understand you kind of getting him prepared for the toilet, but I still think that it's t still too early for that kind of situation. Um, I don't know if it was for the cameras or what, but I thought that was stupid. I'm like, I don't understand why people trip about how I raise my baby. Maybe because that's some weird shit. It's not like you them being a bad mother. It's just like, why are y'all rushing this along? Like, especially if you're saying you're not ready to have another baby. Why the fuck are you rushing this boy along as far as potty training him? Whatever. Um, they also talked when it was time for her to get ready for Phaedra's, I mean, for Kenya's party. But that was basically it with them. If I miss something, I don't care. Um, Cynthia Bailey. Do I want to go with her? No, I'll go with Yeah, I'll go with her. She ain't that. She ain't. Mm. Okay. Her and Peter getting a divorce. She goes to the lawyer office to say that they, she want to get a divorce. She's trying to figure out how can they do it where it's not a gang of drama, stuff like that. So they just want to get this over with. I don't think Cynthia should have been married. I always said that from the beginning of her being on Real Housewives. She should have never got married. She was always a runaway bride. And I think she only married Peter because of the pressure of everybody trying to prove people wrong. Stuff like that. But I never really thought that they should get married. Um, now they're going through this divorce. And I don't like when people say... She already was seeking her way out to me all the way through the divorce. She was always saying, well, if I'm not happy, I'm just going to leave. I'm totally with that. I totally get that. I, I, I'm not with women or men staying in a relationship um, and they know it's not working. But at the same time, y'all should have got off the show and tried to fix your marriage 
and then say, okay, it's not working. But you never gave it a chance. Now, like, it, it, I just, I feel like they shouldn't have been married. I feel like even when she, after she talked to the lawyer, he gave her advice on what they should do. And she said she wanted Peter to be in a meeting so it wouldn't be no problem. She FaceTimed Peter. After not FaceTiming him for months, you wait till you filming to FaceTime him and want to talk about your divorce. He was thrown all the way off from that. And when he started acting like an ass, then she don't want to talk no more. But I'm like, bitch, that's what you get for trying to FaceTime him with this type of shit on camera. If you wanted to do this, you should have just did this re before y'all start filming. Or you shouldn't have that motherfucker on FaceTime. You should have texted him or called him. And then explained to us what happened like sometimes y'all usually do anyway. When y'all don't want it on film. So, yeah, bitch. I mean, yeah, he was acting like an ass as far as him being, I'm saying he was with his girlfriend. It's, apparently, that's she's always threw that up in his face, that his business is his other girlfriend and stuff like that. I do it to my dude. I always tell him his game is his girlfriend or my cousin is his girlfriend because they play the game all the goddamn time. That goddamn Call of Duty, I swear. Um, but I totally, you know, try to get both sides with Peter and Cynthia. He says he loves her. He don't want to give up on a marriage. Um, like I said, I just feel like they didn't try to work it out. They both should have got off the show and tried to work out their marriage before they kept on going through this divorce. Um, so now she got to go put on a brave face because she know all these women's going to be up in her business. Like, you think they not? And I hate when they, she be like, oh, stay out of my business. Bitch, you're doing it on TV. You're doing it in front of women you don't like. What, what did you expect? Um, Portia has to go to anger management. But before she goes to anger management, let's talk about her meeting up at Phaedra's house. She goes to Phaedra's house. She gives her little boy some gifts to come over there. She got her a new ass, apparently, because that ass is bigger than the last season's ass. Why? I don't know. This girl body was not bad at all when she first started on Real Housewives. I don't understand all this body enhancement like she mm, airheads that's what happens when you have no brains and you're trying to be like everybody else uh, that's all i see when it comes to her but she goes to uh, phaedra's house they're talking about phaedra dating again phaedra having sex again phaedra saying she's waiting until her divorce her divorce is final she got like finally got a court date with Apollo. Apollo is trying to stop the divorce, but she's ready to get it over with. She's ready to get her back blew out. Like, okay, I can't be mad at her. This dude's been in jail for a long time. They've been over before he had went to jail. Bitch, it's time for your back to be blew out. Maybe she get some act right. Maybe somebody dick her down or put something on her. I don't know. Let me stop. But, um, yeah, she need, she needs some of her cobwebs gone so she can get her attitude adjusted right. Like, and she need a real man. Not no man she can punk. Not no man she can manipulate. She needs her a motherfucking strong ass, hard strong back ass man to knock them webs out. I'm just saying. I don't like her. But, anyway. So, this guy comes in his carriage things and gives her an invitation to Kenya's uh, housewarming party. So, they shaded Kenya about that, but then she did say, well, at least she got a house. And I said that, too. Like, at least she do got a motherfucking house. And it's her. She paid for it. Hey. Um, but the invitation told her a plus one, not a, a hottie, not a thotty, or not a somebody. Um, and she invited Portia anyway. First of all, you was wrong, Sager, for inviting her and Portia, you was wrong for accepting the invitation. Knowing you don't get along with Kenya, um, I, I was shocked that that Phaedra got an invitation and she said she was going because I was like, didn't y'all get into it at the reunion? Why y'all talking shit to her and all that? And Matt was defending her and all that kind of shit. Why do y'all be acting like y'all didn't get into it at the reunion show? But okay, everybody cool now. So they gonna go to her party. Dumbass idea. So. Now let's talk about um, Portia. Portia goes to her anger management. She says she's been seeing this guy going anger management for five months. But y'all, 
I don't know if I was the only one. I was like, why is she talking to him? Like, this is her first consult with him. Like, she's never met this man before. And I'm sitting there like, girl, is this for the cameras? Y'all had to re-go over the first meeting or what? Because the, the conversation she was having with him is something that you would have with your doctor for the first time. You know what I'm saying? Not five months later that you want to say you you was trying to commit suicide, you was bullied, you was this and that. That's why I thought that was off the show. It might have... It might have happened to her. I don't say it didn't happen. I just think a lot of that conversation was put on for the cameras, and I wasn't here for it. I don't think that. I agree with Candy when she was on Candy Code tonight. I mean, not Candy Code tonight's own. Watch what happens like when she said, I think that she only went to the visits that was on air. I don't, I don't think that she has learned her lesson. She still, I don't even think that she even, when he asked her what was her blame, I don't even remember her taking blame. You know, her, what, what was her part in this whole fight? You know, she always tries to deflect. And I just don't like her. I think she's an airhead. Um, and hopefully it works, but I doubt it. Whatever. I see she's going to get into it with Candy this season, so I, I doubt it. Um, but, well, it might work because I think she know not, not to run up on Candy the way she would run up on Kenya. I'm just saying. So, okay, let's get with Kenya and Sheree whole bullshit. Let's finish this off. It was bullshit. It was straight bullshit. Both women, Kenya and Sheree, was acting like both petty ass bitches through the whole episode of them shading each other, shading each other's houses. Instead of saying, hey, bitch, we both wasn't done by Christmas, so we don't need to be shading no motherfucking body. Both of y'all houses beautiful. They both beautiful. They both beautiful in different ways. Sheree's house is more like a modern, not even modern, it's like a, it gives you that Georgia feel, the big house is real, it just gives you the down south of the big house, it's really elegant, it, I like her house, I really, really love her house, now Kenya house on the other hand is more for the California kind of housing, the way the California houses are set up in the hills, not up in the woods Kenya, That that's what I'm saying. But, yeah, I think both women's houses were nice. I think they would say they layouts was nice. One of them had a library. One of them had a theater. Like, shit, bitch, I can't afford neither one of them. So, both of them was bomb. I wouldn't have moved to neither one of them. Because, first of all, Sheree, your kids down there grown. Who going to take care of the maintenance in the house, shit, in Real house? Because, bitch, you couldn't afford this house before you got back on Real Housewives. Now you're back on Real Housewives so you could finish it. If you get kicked off again, who's going to help you pay for this big-ass house that you're by your fucking self and you don't have, like, a regular job or you're not having no steady money coming in besides you hosting and, girl, get that right first before you live beyond your fucking means because that's what she's doing. She even hired an interior decorator that she said that she that was beyond, you know what I'm saying? So, why do that? Kenya... Can you want to have this party and have her house hurried up and be fixed before she raised that she's willing to put everybody fucking life in danger to come see her house? I thought that was stupid. Bitch, you, I don't understand why these women are doing all this to please the other woman that they're not fucking. I just don't get that part. I'm not doing all this to please all of this. Oh, you got to hurry up so Sheree don't be saying nothing. You got to hurry up so Kenya don't have nothing to say. Or these women don't have nothing to say. Fuck these women. Why are y'all... <sighs> y'all sound real dumb. Y'all sound real dumb. And I don't understand why all you women are going to her party when you know you don't like her. You know you're going to shade her. Y'all only going to be messy. I just think this is stupid to me. Kenya, you only invited these bitches to throw shit in their face. Knowing, like, you shouldn't invite nobody to throw nothing in your face when they can shake the shit out of your place because it's not what you want it to really show but you, you and already sent out these invitations bitch no I'll cancel it's canceled we ain't ready and we don't want to in, um, endanger y'all but no you want to hurry up and do shit so that's why you got talked about the way you got talked about with these all these women um, the only thing I didn't like is, I was just like, Sheree, now you doing too much. Because, bitch, you still, know, like like Kenya said, bitch, least be in your house to throw shade. Just saying. Just saying. But, yeah, uh, that was very dangerous of them walking that red carpet with all them rocks up under and knowing women are going to be in heels. Um, 
it was just a lot of stuff unfinished, but she just wanted to show this damn house. And all of the women came, and Matt ended up sending flowers to Kenya. She's not ready to see him because apparently he fucked up her door when they was out of town. And I kind of saw something, but when it comes to that type of shit, I'd be like, oh, it's going to play out on the season, so I ain't got to keep on investing myself and in looking at it. So I'm just, I was just going to wait for the season to play out and unfold. But apparently he fucked up her place, and they broke up, and she ain't seen him for a little minute. But then he going to end up coming next episode to the party, so apparently they're going to talk, start back talking. Um... Any other women on the show? No. Because it was all about Kenya housewarming and it not being ready and Sheree getting her house ready. That was the whole episode. I was so like, I'm gonna, I, that's why I didn't review it last night when I finally came home. And plus I had a migraine. But I was like, I'm not going to be in pain to review something that wasn't popping or making you say, ooh, for a season premiere. No. Um, Nene's not back. I don't know if she's coming back this season because she always says she ain't coming back and then she pops up, so I don't know. Um, but I'm looking forward to the season. I will review the whole season, whether it's a good episode, bad episode, whether I'm late or whatever. I will be reviewing this episode so you don't have to worry about asking me. Um, follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto view. I know my girl Ashley Miller is reviewing this. I seen Kevin and Kev, uh, Kevin and Mikhail from the Scorpion Show post their review last night. I haven't watched nobody reviews yet. Um, I'm quite sure my boo, much love from KY, will be reviewing this for its rocks. Um, and if I see as other vloggers, uh, putting them up, then I will shout them out on next review, so you guys can make sure you check them out, but I'm sure, like, Scotty from Mr. Still Standing will be doing it, um, say Sean Bradley, I know will be doing it, because he's Team Twirl, so I know he will be doing it, James Carr will be doing it, um, I think Lady Nika said she was gonna do the, re uh, review, and I also will be doing Married to Medicine, so I'm about to go watch that now, um, and I will have that up either, probably in the next hour or two, or probably tonight but it will be up today so um yeah i have to go deal with these doctor issues right now and then i'll do what i have to do as far as youtube but my health comes first so i'll talk to you guys later like i said thanks everybody for rocking with me thanks to everybody that will be rocking with me through this season um but yeah like i said i don't play team nobody so don't cuss me out i'm not team nobody all right you guys i'll talk to y'all later